A sector with radius 3 cm sits inside a sector with radius 11 cm. Both of them have a central angle of 270 degrees. What is the area of the blue shaded region? So over here we have two sectors. We have this outer sector which has a radius of 11 cm and it makes an angle of 270 degrees at the center right over here. Let's name the center as O. And then we have this inner sector which also makes an angle of 270 degrees at O and the radius of this sector is 3 cm. Now what we are asked to figure out is the region, is the area of this region which lies between these two sectors. So let's think about what we already know about this shape. So we have this blue sector with its center at O and then we have another sector, this yellow sector with the same center. If I bring that out, so this is my yellow sector. Now if I remove the yellow sector from the blue sector, I'd be left with my blue shaded region and that's what we need to figure out. So go ahead and pause the video and try doing this on your own. So let's start by writing this down. I have this blue shaded region whose area would be the difference between my blue sector and my yellow sector. Now all we need to do is figure out the individual areas and find the difference. And how do we find the areas? So we know that a sector is a portion of a complete circle. And in a complete circle, we have 360 degrees. And the area covered in 360 degrees or the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now, if we have a sector or a part of the circle which makes an angle of theta at the center, then the area of that part or the area of our sector as we can call it would be pi r squared which is the complete area of the circle times the angle it subtends at the center theta divided by the total angles in a circle. So we can use this to figure out the area of these two sectors. So let's begin with this one. The radius is 11 centimeters for the sector. So its area would be pi r squared. Here r is 11. So 11 squared times the angle it makes it at the center which is 270 degrees. So 270 degrees divided by the total angles in a circle which is 360 degrees. Now the radius of this sector is 3 centimeters. So its area will be pi r squared. Here r is 3. So pi times 3 squared times the angle it makes at the center which here is 270 degrees again. So pi times 3 squared times 270 degrees divided by the total angles in a circle which is 360. Let me put a minus sign over here. Now let's simplify this. So I can take 270 by 360 and pi common out of these terms. So what I'll have here is 270 degrees by 360 degrees which is common pi and then here in brackets I'll have 11 squared minus here I'm left with 3 squared and we know 11 squared is 121 and 3 squared is 9. So let's simplify this. Here I can divide the numerator and denominator by 10 and then here 27 and 36 both are divisible by 9. So 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36 and 121 minus 9 would be 120 minus 8 which is 112. So this is equal to 3 by 4 pi, here I have a pi, times 112. And it seems like 4 is a factor of 112. So we can divide the numerator and denominator by 4. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 and then 4 times 8 is 32. So 3 times 28, hmm, lot of calculations, huh? So 3 times 30 would be 90 and then 3 times 2 would be 6. So 90 minus 6 would be 84. So we'll have here 84 pi. And since the units are given to us in centimeters, so the area would be 84 pi centimeter square. So let me just mark it out for you. This is the area of our blue shaded region.